Well, hello, everybody. Got my yum-yum with me. Okay, so, on my car, obviously, I have backup. There we go. Train horns that shoot out the back. I have air horns in the front. You can probably see them in there. Let me zoom in and turn the light on. So you can see them a little bit better. Come on, where's my zoom button? That one, and then this one. So you can see there's one horn there, and the other one's back in there. There's the other one up on top. So what's happened is um, the, the two air horn compressors blew out. So I have no front horn, and it sounds like this when I beep my horn. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I just get a buzzy motor noise of the compressors trying to spin with their shot. All right, so let's get you in the holder. So I ordered something a little different because, hey, I like being a little different. Just came today a box in a package. That's nice. Oh. My shoulders and shit are so sore. Wow, look at this. Look at how that shows up. All blown apart. So, wow, the box is just demolished. Look at that box. So I got a bullhorn for the front. Just to be a... Look at that. Put a little fur on. <laughs> So I put a 12 volt bullhorn is what I'm going to use just because I like being different and um, I'll give her a little test. Now it doesn't quite, it sounds kind of like a, a sick bull. It doesn't sound like a, you know, a real bull bull. It kind of sounds like bull crap maybe. I gotta find a ground. There's a ground. That looks plastic. Oh. So, <laughs> so that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'll be putting that in. I'll be taking these compressors out. I'll be pulling the lines out. Um, their horns underneath, they are crazy to get them out. So they'll stay there. So now I'll have a goofy horn because I want everybody to know that it's me. So I got my other grills in. They came in. They're not painted, but see, those are painted. It kind of, you know, ties it in a little bit better. You know, it doesn't look so stand out so much like, say, this white wire compared to that um so i have to pull out the one on this side's good the one on this side isn't setting in right i'm gonna put another piece of tape on this this is one of my inspection holes that i cut because i put a what you you know a lot of people know in that corner that's all globbed up i have a fan and the fan is always pulling air through this ceiling so it's keeping because i don't have any vents cut into this roof so it's just a two by six and and then there's over the tin and like that but um so any fresh air is just pulling it from the outside through so just so i keep air movement going here so what i'm going to accomplish today is put in the old bullhorn and all my wires are right here, so there's negative and positive right here. So I'll just unbolt this off my reservoir there and uh, take these out. See, the problem with putting these air compressor pumps in this way is, you know, all the crap, water gets and settles down inside, and that kind of screwed it up. So we'll figure it out. I'll mount it in here somewhere. All right, so... Yeah, these are, uh, I like being different, in case you haven't noticed by now. 
I'm the weird guy on the block. Jenny on the block. No, not Jenny on the block. She's a she's a dirty pig. What is this? Born for horn. So it's got a push button thing in it. Oh, so they got a little bit of everything. Yeah, so they got the bad boy horns. They got see this is what's in my car now, these doubles. And I put one pump per horn to really give it the big honk. But I don't need it. So the company sells a little bit of everything because I've seen all this stuff on eBay. I almost went with the Roadrunner beep beep horn, but that's not a Roadrunner. This is a road tripper because it's such a freaking dog. All right, I'll be back. Well, I got the airlines pulled out. We're just going to cut them off right there because in order to get these air horns out, I got to put the car up in the air. I got to take the bottom splash shield off. But hey, for now, look at this free plastic pipe. So, there she is. There she's mounted. And she's grounded here because there's no place to ground it. So I had to put a ground on it. Tight. You know, it just misses everything. So it just fits. I don't know about closing the hood yet, but find that out in a minute. Do a little couple test beep beeps. But, but. <laughs> And now for the hood test. Doesn't hit. All right. Okay. That was easy as bananas. So, um, I got to put a plug on this. I ordered on Amazon a really heavy duty right angle plug. And so, this one won't go in yet because I have to trim all this metal garbage. Plus, I gotta paint these anyway. So, this one went in beautiful. So, I'm gonna take these out, paint them up pretty, trim that metal back there, and that's probably gonna be it. Um, I told you before, you know, the furnace got hot in here, so that's why I drilled. A hole in the bottom so fresh air can come in and the heat can come out of the furnace chamber and I don't know why it got so hot but you know since we're here let's see oops don't want to touch together so the little one's hot the big one's not so the white always goes in the bigger slot that's how I remember it. We'll turn the heat on and oh, came on at 60 degrees. Turned 65. Man, she fired her up beautiful. Okay. Now I've already pulled the pipe out and swished it. So I might get air. So I pulled the pipe out last night. And here comes the return oil. There we go. There she comes. There she goes. I just heard a furnace actually just fire. Yeah, so now this has a counterweight on the bottom. I had a hell of a time pushing it back into the fitting, which is good, so it won't slide off. So that'll hold it near the bottom. Um, no more oil leaks, so that's cool. And I'm gonna get my snippers, trim up that hole over there, and then get these covers put on. You know, I actually think I've got a beige paint right here. This might blend in better. What color is this? French beige. All right, we're going to French beige these colors. I'll be back. All right, so we get the furnace running, obviously. I feel the heat coming out of here. And I can feel the heat draft coming out of this side. You can feel the cold air being pulled in here. And I can feel some coming out here. I'm wondering if the furnace nozzle, how can I explain this? There's a, there's a hole in there, right? Okay, here, we'll use this. There's a, there's a hole inside. The furnace nozzle is supposed to be sticking out past that horn. 
if the furnace nozzle is back in a little too far, it'll be heating the end of the burner. Because when I looked at this, it looked like the whole burner was slid back. So I shoved it forward a little bit. I might shove it forward again some more to get that burner into the firing chamber more. Because I'm worried that it's heating up the end of the nozzle. Man, I just wailed my freaking head on this. I used the air hose and I blew dry those pieces and I come over whack right in the head. It happens all the time. So I may end up moving that because I'm stupid and I forget that I had the handle down. Probably I might move that over here. You know. Because I'm sick of knocking myself stupid. Wow, you can feel the heat difference. Wow. So here are these drying. So these actually look a little cooler than them, don't they? There's a color difference. Let me get my light on, make it see better. Boy, this heat's coming out hot. So you got, what color do you like better, the top or the bottom? I think the bottom blends in better. So, what I did was, I sprayed these with starting fluid, um, carb cleaner, I mean. So, I sprayed the plastic with carb cleaner, then blew them off. That's why my air hose was down. And uh, because when I painted these, the paint wasn't sticking too good because they were shiny. So I got the two returns in. So they're they're back in. Wow, they're pulling like crazy. Oh, it's getting warm in here fast. Trees blowing. That's a good sign. Wow, you can really... I'm surprised. This, this has got me amazed how much is coming out of that little stupid vent. All right. So that's pretty much for today. That's about all I got going on. Um, I had my big vacuum over here. I had old Stinky. And I vacuumed up a lot of stuff. I had a hard time vacuuming up the little tiny chips on this floor. So I'm going to have to get something with a beater bar. So once I get some cash in the bank, I'll uh, I'll do that. But for right now, you know, I got a deposit coming pretty soon. So, yep, like I said, I keep very minimum amount. I uh, found a TV on Walmart, eighty-eight dollars. I know they got them cheaper than that. I've seen TVs cheaper than that. And I'm not even sure how big this is. Let's see how big this is. That's what I was wondering about because I don't know how much room I got. Look at this stupid ruler. All right. I don't know why they measure them diagonal because you don't look at these damn things cross-eyed. 32 maybe? Come on. Okay, so it's a... I would call it a 32. So it's a 32. So... I could actually go up to a 40. Wow, what a difference. Oh, yeah, I could put a 40 here. I could probably put a 50 in here, actually. The 50 was sitting on the shelf. And then move this one to the other side. Because if you're sitting back there or something, this TV is kind of hard to see. We'll see. We'll see how much play money I get. Wow. This is comfortable. You know something? Like your houses, when you walk from room to room, you may feel a cold spot. Not at all right here. Even that door's open. No cold spot. Here. No, no bump on the head. This is terrific. Well... What do they call these? What do they? What do they call those places you can rent for a night? <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Bed and break? No, bed and I don't know how they call them. But now the wrinkles will go out of this couch. You know, they'll go out because I've noticed when it's warm in here, these wrinkles go away. You know. Well, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So. 
they're still a tiny bit tacky, but they'll be drying soon. And uh, I got another thing I got to check on behind me here. And uh, we're going to go from there. So that's it. Hopefully a pretty quick and easy video. I'll probably get my knife and I'm not going to bother with that. Wow. It actually started squirting out blobbing on the floor down there. I'm <clears throat> kidding. Oh, wow, my stuff sticks like crazy glue. Oh, come on. Holy shit. Really? I had to use about all of my strength to pull this off the damn floor. Either I'm getting weaker or this stuff's getting stronger. Yeah, I'm getting weaker. Cool. So that's all there. That can isn't going to stay there. I'm going to have to get another can like before. I got to try out my stereo system. The antenna sucks. Let's see what this feels like now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is hot. You can really feel the heat coming off it. But now at least the heat's escaping. I should put one of my little computer fans on here to blow the heat out of it. You know, I can't open the door. The fan will shut off. It's right. So... You know, it can't be because I don't have enough airflow. I'll probably put another run in. I'll probably tie that into something. We'll figure it out. All right, everybody. Catch you later. Have a good one. And I would absolutely love to get a heat run over into the bathroom, but it's not going to happen. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to do that. You know? Yeah. If I could get one in here or something. I'd have to go back and look at the pictures when I was building this place of what I did. Because I was taking pictures throughout. So. Hey, if you want to see some of the pictures of me building this place, I'll put them at the end of this video. So have a good one. Take care. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up if you want. Not up my butt, but up. And uh, I'll catch everybody later. Now it's time to crack open the cold one. Sweet!